Hi everyone, I'm Erin from the Foam Corps. If you've been with us for a while, you know that our page name is a little bit of a misnomer. Our actual favorite material is plastics of all kinds. So I'm extra excited today to review a new thermoplastic that's going to be available in the U.S. Uh, pretty soon through Arta Wigs called Fibra. Fibra is very comparable to Warbler in a lot of ways. So what I did with my sample piece is I actually rebuilt my Diablo crown. I did this one in Warbler and this one in Fibra. So I'm going to be telling you the differences and uh, what, I, what I learned about Fibra from this project. Sheet Thibra is really comparable in thickness to Warbler. When you heat it, uh, it's definitely more elastic, so I'm going to heat a piece for you real quick right here. So Thibra is definitely much, much stretchier than Warbler. I'm sure you can tear it, but as you can see, it really wants to go a long way before it finally gets to that point. The working temperature is a little lower than Warbler, which I think is a, it's a good thing because it makes your, your actual process faster. You probably do need to watch out for things like leaving your costume in the car, which is a concern with Warbler as well. Thibra wants to stick to itself very strongly, so let me heat another little piece for you here. You can see that bonds so strongly, which is great because it means your details stick instantly. You definitely do, when you're doing the, the craft foam sandwich technique though, you probably want, instead of what I do with Werbla normally, is I heat the piece separately. With Thibra, I found it much better to lay it over the top and then heat it and bond it that way because if it sticks to itself when it folds over, you're going to have a really hard time peeling that off. So. One of the other main features of these thermoplastics is that you can sculpt the scraps, and you can see what I'm doing here. The scrap Thibra sculpts amazingly. It, it retains its smoothness. Uh, if you put too many air bubbles in it, you're going to get some bubbles, but I found it to be an incredible material to sculpt with. I'll heat it a little bit again and show you some more. I tend to use these steel clay tools, and you can see, like, it will hold its detail phenomenally. I'm, I'm just kind of mushing it, but you get the idea. Like, it is a very detail-friendly material. The dried pieces of Thibra, once they're, once they're cooled, are very hard. I did notice that if I pulled on it real hard, it's, it's a little more brittle than Warbler, but I also think that Warbler tends to be a little gummier, and I don't think that the tensile strike, the Warbler, is much stronger than Thibra. So I think a finished costume, you would probably treat it about the same way as any piece of armor. You know, you're not going to throw it on the ground, but it's going to be just fine. So I think that if you worked heavily with thermoplastics like Warbler, you're going to love Thibra. It isn't exactly the same. So one of the biggest challenges that I found was I kept wanting to treat it as though it was Warbler, and it isn't. So... If you take a little bit of time to practice with your Thibra and just find what the differences are, you know, the, the extra elasticity, the stickier nature of it, and, and just keep those in mind while you're working, it is going to work so well for you. I feel like after a few hours of working on my crown, I feel very confident that I can build a full costume with this, with this material and have it be a very easy learning curve. So what I'm going to do in the next couple weeks, obviously I haven't painted my Thibra crown yet, I'm going to be masking this off and then doing paint comparisons, and I'll be posting some high-res photos so that you can see the, the difference on the same piece of costume with the two different materials and really compare the strengths of both. Um, so if you have any questions about Fibra and like the working, you know, the way that it works and, and just general technique questions, post them in the comments. I'll be answering anything that I possibly can, and I'll try to figure out the answer to anything I don't know. But thanks so much for watching, um, and I really do recommend this material. I'm really excited about it. I'm going to be doing my whole costume in it instead of Warbler, so stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching.